to make our pop-up card we are going to again use analogous colors but this time I'm going to blend them and do more of an impressionistic style it needs to be fairly um, blurred and doesn't need to be too clear uh, because it's going to be our background so I'm getting a big A3 piece of paper and this is cartridge paper which is a bit heavier than inkjet paper and I'm going to fold that in half pressing along the seam I'm just adding some texture sort of uh, in the sky it's not a clear it's not a drawing of anything it's just giving a kind of a background feel and then on the ground I'm going to do some sort of pine tree shapes very Mary Blair kind of forest again very impressionistic I'm not sitting here drawing detail I'm just adding in some rough shapes you could do this with oil pastel as well but I do find that oil pastel smudges a lot more so I prefer the crayons and the crayons will blend a bit more So now I'm ready for my resist painting using watercolour. I'm just making a bit of a wash. A wash is when you use a small amount of colour, a small amount of pigment and fairly uh, large amount of water. So just uh, fill the space. Again, I don't want lines, this is just a background and I don't mind going off the page because it gives uh, out of the focus, out of the picture kind of perspective. Notice my direction of my brush is going the opposite way of what I was doing with the sky. Same with when I did the crayon. The direction of the brush is going with the trees. I'm doing horizontal lines with my trees and I did no. Notice I'm doing horizontal lines instead of shorter brush strokes with my trees. Same in the direction of the crayons that I did. I was doing horizontal lines with the sky and I'm going to do vertical sort of maybe shorter strokes there we go all the whites filled in with the wash and now it's ready to go on to the drying rack and now as my background is dry and I have cut out my castle, I'm going to make my pop-up. So we're going to fold the piece of paper back in half and I'm going to make a cut, two cuts in the middle up to maybe about 10 centimeters in. And then I can fold that so it's got a crease in it, open that up and this is going to fold forward. And then I have my little box here and this is where I'm going to glue on my castle. And then we're going to put a really good amount of glue just onto this green area here. 
and then my castle needs to line up with that crease at the bottom and press and now my castle is able to pop up in this box like so And then if you have time, you could also put some extra pop-ups here. So I could then do some smaller cuts here. And then I'm able to put something maybe a little bit further away from the castle, uh, like some trees or something.